Hi, I'm Maria Angelova. I'm a certified financial planner and certified divorce financial analyst. And this is my second video on the series uh, about breast cancer awareness. On the first one, I was playing three roles. So if you haven't seen it, go back and see it. It's interesting. I'll be curious to see, to, to hear your feedback. And, and here I'd like to talk about statistics. Two years ago, I learned about disturbing statistic and actually I learned it from Stats Canada, something that was not very much talked about in the, in the news or any, anywhere, but I learned it over there and I was disturbed after that I, I realized it's not, uh, it's not only in Canada, it's in other countries. I'm going to tell you about this kind of statistic which is connected with the earning, so breast cancer and earning. I'll tell you about this in the end of the video. First I would like to tell you about uh, some well-known facts, maybe well-known, but maybe it's good to remind it. So two in every five people are going to experience cancer in their lifetime. This is the Canadian statistics of 2015. So two of every five are going to deal with cancer during li their lifetime. And one in every nine women, so one in nine is going to experience breast cancer. The age that statistically is, uh, you know, it's really started to, to grow the number of cancer is, you know, is after age 39, 40 is starting, but the most numbers are starting around age 49, 50. So at that age, the statistic shows that between that age 49, 50 and up to age 80, the cancer is really hitting a lot of women. Um, I was kind of um, sad when I, you know, I was dealing the other day with a client of mine who is in, in her, um, dealing with her financial difficulties and she called me, she told me I have to stop my, my insurance. And her insurance is covering not only life insurance, but she has a portion that is for critical illness insurance. And the critical illness insurance is exactly uh, for that purpose, to provide some money in case of financial difficulties, uh, you know, when, when people are surviving critical illnesses, but they really need money. And the statistics show that 88% of, of women who are hit by breast cancer are going to survive more than five years. So 88% for breast cancer is a very, very high percent of survival. However, during this time, the, the hardship is not only like physical, emotional hardship for, for the women, for their relatives, but it is also financial hardship for all of them because in most cases, the relatives are taking care of this, of this women. And I couldn't do anything for my client. I, you know, all I can do is advise what she's losing, uh, keep in mind that she's really close to her 50s. She's 40 something, really close to her 50s. And here, let me tell you the statistic that I mentioned in the beginning. So most of the critical illnesses are hitting low income society. So the Cancer, most of the cancer, the cancers are also hitting low-income people, low-income families. The only one critical illness, and it is breast cancer, is hitting high earners, high net worth women. And that's disturbing. Breasts are connected with nourishment. What I tend to believe uh, 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 somehow believing Louise L. Hay about her, you know, her uh, observ observations on how sicknesses are connected to thoughts. She is connected the uh, sicknesses to breast with nourishment. I believe that maybe these women who are giving a lot for their families, for their, for the society, uh, their high earners because they work a lot, they are nourishing the society, they are nourishing the, you know, the, the people around them with their work and maybe they are not taking care of so much of themselves, maybe they are like giving so much and not receiving so much which makes me feel that it's not fair somehow but this is the statistics and I was reading this also in the in some articles um, uh, in, in 
published in the United Kingdom. So obviously it's not only here in Canada. So here it is. My, my name is Maria Angelova. I'm a certified financial planner and I'm really happy to talk with my clients about their plans, their needs and goals so they can have money no matter what.